Today we're going to install our wood stove pipe kit from tinywoodstove.com in our 10 by 22 foot tiny house that my wife and I built together last year. As a disclaimer, I've never installed a wood stove pipe before in my life. This is my very first time, I've actually never even seen one done before. But despite that, hopefully you find this video helpful as you install your stove pipe kit. We're going to go get our plumb and uh, find the center mark and find where the stove should be uh, situated first off before we start drilling holes. So we've now found the center of the pipe. We uh, put a screw up in the top and hung a plumb line from the bottom. And uh, our box is 14 and 5 8 inches wide. Uh, that's going to be going up in the ceiling. So the center of that was 7 and 5 16 I believe. So that's about where that is from the uh, rafter there. So hopefully we'll be able to screw right into it for mounting purposes. So now we're going to get our box make some marks up there, and we're about ready to start cutting. So we're going to start by drilling a hole that's close to the center of the box. In our situation, I'm not exactly sure where the center is going to be because I want to get as close as possible to this rafter to move the stove back that direction. So we're just going to kind of go in the middle. We've got some room to work with. Um, so here goes nothing. And we're through. So now that we've drilled our hole through the bottom ceiling material on the interior of the house, we've got the insulation we need to take out. Now we have the insulation all cleared out, and we're just doing a test fit by placing the pipe in the stove down here and uh, leveling it with a level. And it looks like it's uh, pretty much in the center. One more thing that I did just to confirm that we were still on a plumb line was to, uh, to hang the plumb one more time, put a screw in there, I put the box up in the ceiling so we could just check and make sure that we were still in fact straight. And I uh, can't quite see it from this angle, but we are still straight over the stove pipe. I'm gonna get my hole saw and uh, put the first hole all the way through to the open air above. A little bit scary, here we go. Couldn't quite cut through the metal all the way. It happened to be right on a seam. There's two layers of metal, but uh, Outside world. So here's what our initial penetration looks like from the roof. Again, didn't fully cut around, but uh, we're just gonna snip that off with our 10 snips. And there we are. So it's a rough cut, but the metal is cut out just to the right size for the pipe to go up, plus a little bit, little bit extra. And uh, the wood has got about a two inch gap around on each side. I'm gonna cut down those two um, side pieces that are sticking in. I just gotta clean this up a little bit but it doesn't really matter. And the box is being cut at this very moment for the proper angle. So we have our box secured into the ceiling. I reached in from the top because the hole was larger. You can see it's a little dark outside now. Uh, we were right next to a rafter on this side, so I just uh, screwed directly into the rafter. Did a few measurements to be able to screw actually into my uh, my uh, tongue and groove up here. I didn't do the back side. I don't know what you can see, but I did a couple over in that side. So on three sides, it is secured well. It is firmly mounted in place, and that will be the support that will hold our pipe. So now we're gonna test fit our pipes together and let them through the top. And uh, that might just be where we stop tonight. So we're back outside this morning doing a rough assemble of the uh, final stages of the stovepipe. And my black stovepipe is going to be cut off just a little bit. Um, it goes up into the, the uh, box farther than I wanted it to. So I'm just going to be cutting it off. Um, this mark right here is where it enters the box in the house. This is the bracket that kind of weights it down against the box. And I, uh, I'm going to be cutting it as, as, so as little as possible of this single wall pipe is going up into my roof. So I want this bracket essentially to be resting right here. More or less, I'm gonna leave about an inch above this mark. So I'm gonna cut that off, and uh, then we're gonna look at kind of the basic uh, rough assembly of uh, the, the next stages of the pipe. So we're gonna do just a quick walkthrough of the different pieces that transition from the single wall all the way up to the chimney that come with this uh, wood stove pipe kit. 
This is a bracket that came with the Duravent pellet um, box that is up in the ceiling, the square box. It just mounts around the pipe, rests right on the uh, bottom of the box. This is a clamp that just clamps these two clamps, both um, clamp down this transition piece that uh, kind of transitions from single wall pipe to the double wall pipe here. So single wall, a transition piece, double wall pipe. And then uh, this is also another transition piece that um, I was gonna take apart for you to see, but it was quite well in there already. I didn't wanna undo progress. So th this is another transition piece that transitions from the top of the double wall pipe to your little chimney cap here. Forgive me for maybe not using the right terminology. Um, and so yeah, there is a uh, provided clamps for all of these that go right together. It's fairly simple. I believe even the uh, stickers on the arrows on these stickers uh, on most of these exterior pipe pieces, um, even all the way up to the brackets, indicate which way is up. So that's kind of handy. So we're gonna put this together and then go uh, get it up in the roof. But before we do that, we can't forget about this guy right here. This is a critical piece to the installation that will uh, keep your house dry and water free. This is the uh, ceiling gasket that's gonna go around this double wall pipe. You're gonna screw down into the ceiling at frequent intervals with uh, roofing screws along the edge. And this actually needs to go on before we finally assemble this together. This is gonna stretch to fit this right here. And so we need to put that on, slide it down towards the bottom. I could have put on it at the bottom. That would probably be more ideal, but uh, it's gotta go on now before we assemble this. So here we go. We've got our assembled piece together. Uh, this is just the top section of the pipe from the inside. And we're gonna go drop it through the roof and see if it connects. So now we're just going to make sure that this pipe is also reasonably level. I have to adjust it just a little bit. I put these two brackets in here. Again, remember, this is my first time. This is an amateur job. Um, this one I uh, angled that way because I was really close, to, uh, in order to get everything level, I was really close to the edge of my uh, my lines for the gasket here. So I, I flipped it that way. This one is flipped the other way, a little farther from the hole. So it gives it just a little bit more stability. This gasket uh, will then come down like so. It will wrap nicely around the uh, ridges in the roof. Screw it down with uh, some roofing screws. So here's the finished install up on the roof. Chimney is all assembled above the double wall pipe and this deck tight gasket has been put on just with a bunch of roofing screws around the edge put some high temperature sealant on the underside and and a little bead around the top lip just for extra protection i also folded this top part back and put a little bead around there for the other possible water entry point and uh, so we should be good safe from water and heat safe so that's it. That concludes our installation of our four inch wood stove piping from tinywoodstove.com. We've been heating with wood now for several weeks and it's been great. So hopefully you found this video helpful in your installation of a wood stove pipe uh, in your tiny house or other similar structure. Stay warm. <laughs>